We've been talking about the uncertainties in the world today, but when it comes to growth in the Philippines, I mean, it seems to be on track, 5 to 6 percent. How is the business sentiment in the country? The, there's a lot of political noises, but the business has been uh, going on strong in many areas. So I think Philippines is sometimes misunderstood, uh, maybe because of the geographic positions. And so not many people are no no Philippines because it's not part of the continent of the ASEAN. But there's a lot of growth in the Philippines, and I think it will be growing for the next three years. The question is, at what pace? Do you see the it, global slowdown impacting the Philippines eventually? Uh, not yet in the Philippines, because we'll be growing from between 5 to 6 percent, and there's uh, the, the rise of the affluent market, and also the population is quite young and it's growing. So I think there's a, a lot of potentials in the Philippines. Tessie, having said that, and given the optimism, how is SM Investments investing in all its various businesses? It is a conglomerate, like we said, dealing with everything from retail to property. Uh, where do you see the biggest growth? And banking, uh, of course. Yeah, we don't really look at it as which one will be the biggest growth. We are growing consistently like the growth in the Philippines, or maybe even a little bit more. Like uh, the retail is doing quite well. Our numbers are up at least 10 percent. The property is double digits. The bank is double digits. So if we can do it, I, I'm sure the other people can do it as well. I'm, I'm sure the other, uh, the other businesses are doing as well. And from what I've seen in the banking, uh, in, in the ba banking data, a lot of businesses are growing. So um, I, I think there's a bright future. Uh, let's pick up in banking. It is a sector that's being disrupted by technology. How are you staying relevant and how are you riding this digital wave? Yeah, we are just a little bit slow, but we want to grow slowly but steadily. Uh, we want to make sure that it's secured. So we have been doing the, uh, the digital banking and the e-banking as well in the business side. So I think you will see uh, BDO as a more digital bank in the future. We're just setting the core so that it will be more stable. Are you looking at acquire, acquiring a, a startup, a, a fintech to help you make, uh, to help you leapfrog? No, not necessarily, but we work with them and we also develop our own core. Uh, we're at the time when we're looking into how to go more digital. So maybe in three years' time, we'll be more digi digital. SM is also in the property sector, which pretty much has been boosted by Chinese money. Uh, what trends are you, are you seeing now, given the slowdown in China? Uh, we have been conservative in that area. We know that the Chinese tourism can come and go. So we are, uh, we always uh, allocate more percentage for the Philippine investment. So I don't think, I don't think there will be, there will be some disruptions if they go out, but I don't think it will be much. We're still doing quite well. Businesses, of course, looking at developments in China. Uh, what do you see as the biggest challenge for China in the next decade? Uh, I don't know about, I don't know much about China, but our business in China is still doing well. We still have double-digit growth. I mean, we are in shopping center in China, so it's the consumer sector, and it's been quite—it uh, has been quite nice to us. What's the biggest risk, though? Um, I guess the you know the political the the trade war, I suppose, which will which will have a slowdown in China. But I think the consumer industry is still developing. So, and we're not we're not nationwide. We have a few. Uh, shopping center in China where it was strategically located so we're, we're doing well. Is that reflected in your retail business in the Philippines as well and what are the prospects in the next three years for instance? Can you put a figure to it, quantify it? Well, uh, with or without the trade war I guess we'll still be growing steadily. Uh, what is steadily? Steady is uh, close to double digit growth uh, I guess we'll be growing about seven. It's higher than the GDP growth, uh, and that is what we always target. So we do have double-digit growth, but I just want to be conservative, so I don't want to say it. But at the end of the year, I think our investors will be happy. Uh, on the next three years, I think we can sustain that.
we're, uh, we're a company where we want to go into a steady growth uh, each year. Like for the last 10 years or more, we have been growing at the pace of 10%. So it's, um, it, has been, it has been a nice survival.